I'm afraid to be the bearer of some bad news. You see, if you're here looking for videos on real estate and how I was able to get three houses early, I'm afraid that's not what this video is actually about. Today, we're talking about the other three houses of the Fire Emblem variety. I, out of however many other possible people, I don't fully know the exact numbers. I've only heard maybe murmurs, but I am one of a good amount of people who actually got the game early. And not by out of like any weird NDA sort of stuff or just literally it was pure luck. And I'm here to talk about why, because it's, I find it's a very interesting story at the very least. And it's one that I actually sort of value, at least from being a Fire Emblem fan. You see, originally when Three Houses was starting to eventually get on its release track and all that, I wanted to get myself the Season of Warfare Edition, which is their the special limited edition. I just felt like, hey, that would make a lot of sense. But because at the time, during the summer of its release, I wasn't actually at home. I was in the States uh, with my partner. So I didn't exactly have the chance to get a pre-order because either I would have had to have done something while in Canada and that really couldn't happen because I wouldn't have gotten it. I wouldn't have gotten a chance to play it until the end of the summer when I got back or I would have had to try to figure something out where I was staying and that wasn't happening either. So I was probably just gonna have to get the game normally as is on release day. But then something very bizarre happens and I really couldn't explain why, but for whatever reason, we went to a Walmart, just, just a Walmart in general. This was the, basically the midnight of the Monday, Tuesday, the week of Three Houses release. And we were just there just to get snacks and that sort of stuff and just be like, hey, why not? We're just out at midnight. It's 24 hour Walmart. Who knows what happened? But for whatever reason, I wanted to go back to just the game section just to see if they had anything about three houses yet. Just because I was curious at that rate, because I mean, it's Walmart. Of course, they're going to have something about their games and all that sort of stuff. And then I saw it. They had three houses on the shelf. They had however many copies of it on the shelf not marked with any sort of prices or anything they were just there and i was very confused so thinking that it was the middle of the night and thinking that hey it's on the shelf i have a feeling that there might be a chance that i could possibly get this or at least i wanted to see if there was a possibility that i could have gotten this early so we rang somebody up to be like hey can we possibly get this game the game actually when we went to check it out because we had to do like self checkout and all that sort of stuff for it. It wasn't in the system yet. So they had to uh, basically call up one of their managers or whatever to see what to do about it. And I think ultimately they charged us, I think $50 for the game, if I remember correctly. I don't fully remember, but I think it was $50 in fact, because I, I don't think they knew any better. Yeah, no, that's literally how I got the game. I got it a couple days early. I didn't tell too, too many people at the time. I put it in like a couple chats at one point that, hey, I have it early. And it's just like, okay, it's there. And I didn't actually end up playing it until like I think a day or two before, just because I wanted to give it some time in case Nintendo somehow wanted to bite my ass or whatever. Because frankly, I don't know. I mean, I literally bought the game legally. I mean, I literally bought it from the store, albeit... It was kind of their fault. I actually, when I wanted to go and pick up the uh, the anniversary edition for Fire Emblem 1, I remember talking to the clerk saying that apparently Walmart got in some hot water with Nintendo for having it on the shelves early. So yeah, that was somehow the story of how this sort of stuff ended up happening. I, if legal repercussions somehow come out from this, eventually someday down the road because Apparently not supposed to get it early or something like that. And people want to do some weird stuff. Well, it was nice knowing you. But while you're still here, if you like hearing my voice, if you like me talking about stuff and you want to see more of what I've got, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested. My name has been Val, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.